Right, there you go. <clears throat> Bit of slow running. And as you can see, we have people uh, on the layout. Uh, great pile of benches, people. Oh, there's a bit of a... I don't know what happened there. We've got to put those benches in. But as you can see, I've got some a uh, bit of detail now going on. Uh, you know, I've added to the, I've added to the pipe work. Um, bits of um, a track there. Spare rails, you know, you see that all the time. Um, these guys here, I think they look good. Two fellas here, little diorama I've got going. Two fellas putting in the trunking. He's having a good look, isn't he? Yeah, so um, as you can see, I've the ballast will go to where that uh, plastic lid is. Uh, that's that's what I think uh, we're looking at. And uh, yeah, it's 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 not looking too shabby at all. I have to say, putting some fences there, um, telegraph poles. Just old detail stuff that I had previously, you know. Um, I got rid of the inspection pit uh, this morning, filled that in, covered it over. Uh, the, this, what you can see there, those two sidings are just drying. That's why they're a bit. Well, this is a bit light coloured here. These are, these are still drying. And there's quite a bit of dust that's just on the top there that comes up with the Hoover once done. Um, but they're, they're just basically sidings. Um, I quite I quite like what I've done with the fencing here, you know. So that looks okay, that. And then some posts, you know. So it's a bit old and uh, don't want it to look too perfect. That's the key. The parcels office clearly doesn't sit there. Put it there. Um, not really sure how to how to finish this bit at the end, but. Uh, this gives me a bit more storage. Uh, I'll clearly do something, blank that off in some way. I don't know. I don't quite know what to do yet. A bit more of that fencing, perhaps. Uh, there's a lot of thinking to be done about that particular view there. Um, it's very really clean as well, too clean. But I'm thinking to be done about the, 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 the stone wall. Um, but it's, it's a standard that I'm happy with, the bits that I've done. I think that's a, that's that's a, a, a pretty good standard. Um, you know that's 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 a reasonable layout. That's about twelve foot by three foot as you see it, which is the main operational part. Don't know how much of a view of it I can give you, but you can see it's a it's a good old size uh, model railway. Uh, from the side, you know, you can see. Yeah, I mean, that's a decent size. Perfectly, uh, perfectly good. Um, quite enjoying doing the ballasting. I found that the easiest technique was to get a, a bottle, um, half and half it with uh, water and UPVA glue, or PVA glue, whatever it's called, a little bit of washing up liquid, shake it all together, and then literally, once you've got the ballast on, I would just pour it, um, and it's, it's, it's really easy to do, and you can leave a little bit mixed up as well, so when, you, when you're having a glass of wine in the evening, and you suddenly get, remember something you've missed, you can come up, and just touch something up, and away you go, back to your wine, as it were. And of course, we have train spotters. The boys are there. Um, there'll be plenty of good stuff to spot on this uh, station. Uh, and then all the points work beautifully, and I've, I've I managed to, to, to ballast these. Uh, that's always a worry, but uh, basically, you know, using that bottle, I can drip, you know, bit by bit by bit by bit. 
just just drip it on keep making sure that the, the actual um, point works and they will do it's fine it's absolutely fine getting the right level of detail in terms of um, greenery mixed in with a ballast it's quite hard uh, to get something there and that I'll, I'll just keep adding to that and, and layering upon layer upon layer to get the right effect I think but for now I think it's uh, I think it's pretty good but, uh, the crew, there's the supervisor up on the top of the lights there <laughs> and you got these two chaps here, these brilliant little models doing the uh, surveying. I guess that's his the other light. And the other chap holding the, 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 the measuring stick. Yeah, looks 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 pretty good. Let's go underneath. Get a view from the other end. Yeah, it's a good old uh, model railway. I think there's many ways to do ballasting, but I think the, the, the technique I've used, which I've copied from others by looking at YouTube, works a treat. And that's good, you know, that's a, that's a nice level of detail. That's a nice level of detail. It looks right. And if it looks right, it probably is. Ah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, uh, that's much better now. I basically dug this up about four foot of it. It had only been down a day and it still wasn't really dry, so it was easy to come up. This, this platform here, the, the, it just it wasn't straight enough the track i mean i don't mind a little bit of just just you know it doesn't have to be razor straight it just doesn't have to laser straight but it doesn't have to be but it was awful um so we got rid of that and that's much better now much 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 better much happier with that um in every respect bit of a long video this one but yeah, quite quite a lot been done Okay, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll press on. And you got a little bit to do. Uh, have a good week.